and it's time to protect the net presented by NordVPN. We turn our attention to the late game happening tonight, and specifically one guy named Archers She Loves. One of the stories of the playoffs, Paisley shirt and all. Give us more She Loves. If someone says She Loves Me Not, that's what they're calling him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I do know that he's been awesome so far. Um, what have you made of his overall play tonight? It's been pretty, it's been impressive. It's been amazing is what it has been. You have to give him a lot of credit for stepping into the situation. I'm sure when the playoffs began, he never thought he'd be in the position, nor did his teammates. And the way he's come in and uh, I think settled the game down for his team, you know, it's not so much the physical part as we talked about and the technical part. You know, Ian Clark's a great goalie coach there. They're all prepared technically. They can all move athletically. It's his mental temperament. It's the way he's come in and has been unfazed, uh, whether it's been in Nashville, a hard place to play, in Edmonton against the two best players in the world and the best power play in the world. And he just seems to just roll with the punches and make the saves. And, you know, Rupper, I was talking to you about how as a player, if you're worried about the guy in the net behind you, you play a little bit more tentative. You play a little more scared, afraid of making mistakes. If you get a guy back there who can settle things down and you start to believe in, oh, now we can get to our game and just play and not have to worry about who's behind us and if it's going to go in every time. Yeah, his – was that game one? Game one when him and Stuart Skinner both kind of struggled. Yeah. And then Shelov's yes. obviously yes. – get they got the win. But I was actually really impressed. I'm like, ooh, this – I don't know. I mean, it was it was a good story up to this point. Now all of a sudden it's like, is reality setting in? Right. And I love I love how strong he seems to be between the ears, whether it's strong or just or just roll, letting it roll off your back, which is obviously a great attribute for a goaltender. He bounced back, Schneitz, and I love that. And that's all I want from – you know, I don't want – I don't want to feel like my goalie, who, whomever it is, is uptight. And he doesn't seem to be. I think he gives off good vibes. And right now, I I, I think he's, in a lot of ways, saved the bacon. For, uh, their yeah. bacon. I mean, this is a team that, quite frankly, hasn't played great all playoffs long. They're very timely in their goal scoring and, and getting their block shots at the right time. And right now, they're getting goalie uh, saves at the right time by Shelovs. It's impressive. I mean, how about the fact that... Going to the playoffs, we hear Thatcher Demko is out for the foreseeable future, and we're like, Canucks are done. done. Then yeah. now this guy comes in, and it, and you start to wonder. Let's say they win tonight; they're up three-one in the series. Demko was ruled out through Game Four, which is tonight. I mean, at some point, there's going to be a conversation of how far are we going to ride this She Loves guy? Like, if they win the series, yeah. they go to the Western Conference Final. Like, Demko's healthy. I don't know. Maybe you just make sure he's a hundred percent healthy, and you go with She Loves in the meantime. It's a great problem to have. If it keeps up for Vancouver, we'll see tonight. Connor McDavid might have something to say about that. We'll see. Uh, let's take a quick break here. And when we come back, we've got PK Subban joining us. Get his thoughts on the action ahead tonight. Stay tuned. Protect the Net is presented by NordVPN, cybersecurity built for every day.